Everyone, wake up. Okay. Um, today I'm gonna today I'm gonna present my song, which is called "You Are by Me." Okay. So, um, before starting, I shall let you guys listen to how it sounds like. So, yeah, here it is. contrast genre. So it can vary from Marvin Gaye, the, the time where soul music is like um, uh, the trend until Tamiya, uh, which is really the R&B, which is the trend right now. So I combine emotive vocals from soul music and I borrowed R&B groove and that's how my song came. Um, and it's also very pop influence as well. Uh, so, yeah, this song basically, I, I didn't stick to one specific genre, but I got inspirations from different genres that I like and I put it together. Yeah, and the form of my song is intro and A, B, A, B, B, and it fades out, so it doesn't have a bridge. Uh, tempo is at 82 beats per minute, time signature 4-4, four, four, and in key, uh, C major, uh, yep, and then, um, these are the main four elements that I 
had in mind when I started composing, uh, I always started with the melody because melody is king. And um, so I started out with a hook. So I had a uh, da, 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 da. I keep I had I had the hook and then I slowly had my chorus melody first and then I came out with the chords and I nailed down all the basic chords at the strong bass. I placed them and then only I add color chords and secondary dominance and all the theory stuff goes in. So, and then after that, I added a groove, uh, so I know where my song is going to go to. With uh, and then uh, after that, I plan out my contour on a paper and um, to to build up harmonic contour and instrumental contour. So yeah, these are the main four elements that I I had in mind first. After that, I slowly develop my song. So first, I'm gonna talk about my prop, my chord, my chord progression. Yeah. So um, this is my analysis. Um, yeah. Uh, so they, I use secondary dominance. Um, as you can see here, I add it at like in the middle of the phrase, or either sometimes at the back of a phrase, uh, I use secondary dominance to increase harmonic rhythm um, yeah, to lead it to like the strong chord. And then I also use primary dominance, uh, which is right there, 5, 7 to C major. And then I have a modal interchange right here um, to add some spice to the song. I had a flat 6 major 7. And then for the chorus, um, I started with a 4 major 7 instead of everyone uses a 5 or a 1 um, because I wanted a more blue element in it. And then um, there are also second, more secondary dominance I use a lot. And then I also use diminished chords um, because, yes, because I wanted a descending bass line, as you can see up there, A, G, F sharp, F, um, and then um, my voice leading, you can see it's kept the same because it's the chorus, I want the contour to be big, so the bass goes descending and then the voice leading on top keeps the same and I, at the end of the chorus, I wanted it to tone down. So. Um, instead, I have a ascending bass line and everything goes up until this notes where I want it to wrap up. So this is basically like a release. Um, yeah, so... For my song, I didn't want it to go like very electronic or I want it to be quite like more acoustic as possible. The synths and pads are there to just um, support it. And then um, I also have my bass section where I have a bass guitar and uh, a synth kick to, um, to keep up with the bass. And then um, my vocals, lead vocals and background vocals quite obvious and then I have a rhythm section I had drum set shakers tambourine and chimes and yeah my rhythm section the the shakers I got it from like real recording so because I find it more authentic 
So yeah, my rhythm section sounds like this. 